speaking of uh, Paul Skeen, some more because we have to talk about him. How's Livy Dunn doing? <laughs> I think Libby Dunn is doing really well. Ooh, that's fine. I saw she dressed up like uh, like Paul. I thought that was pretty funny. And she did a little like head handstand. I don't know what she did, but she did something and threw a ball. But it was pretty impressive. I, I think that's the best Paul Skeen's ever looked in a uniform. Uh, personally, I don't know about you. I got so many things to say, but I want to keep this somewhat PG. I don't want to go rated R all the way, but I do have ideas every time I think about Livy Dunn and Paul Skeens. I'll leave it at that. Yes, uh, Livy Dunn. So one thing I want to talk about though with Paul Skeens, his warm up. This has gotten a lot of videos. A lot of people have been talking about this. Is something I saw actually in the off season. I've seen it now in season. I've seen him do it. Yeah, right. In the off season, I saw him doing a training. I saw him doing his preparation stuff, like his, his development side, and I see it now in the big leagues. It's an interesting, uh, different warm up than most pitchers. It's definitely different. James, I know you saw it, and I know you wanted to talk about it. You want to get some of my reaction to it. You wanted to ask me the question, uh, so I've had some time to think about it. So go for it. Well, I mean, he's got this thing that he's putting up around his shoulders that looks like a yoga mat. I don't know what the hell that is. And he's, you know, he's rotating. And I obviously I know why he's doing that. He's trying to rotate. But have you ever seen that? Have you ever done that? You know, what does that do for you as a pitcher? I mean, this is where, you know, my expertise goes way gone. And it's time to talk to the man who actually played professional baseball. So a yoga mat's a great way to think about it. If you haven't seen this yet, think about a big yoga mat. A really big yoga mat, but it's not a yoga mat. It's actually an air tube filled with water. Okay, it's not the size of a big yoga mat. Air tube filled with water. Now it's not filled the whole way. It's filled like halfway, or, or, or depending how you want, you can fill it a quarter, three quarters, or half. I have one here. I use for some of my training, my guys. It's about a third, if if not halfway full. Um, you can make them. You can get them really big, small. Sometimes they can be really heavy. What he does, it, okay, we explain this too. So think about like a. Well, kid uh, transporter, like a backpack, right? Where you've got the kid on your back. He's got like one of those, but it's holding the bag and it's made for the bag. And you see him going down the, the mound, going down the rubber and then counter rotating with his shoulders and then rotating really hard with the shoulders. And so what this is working on, and ideally it's working on one balance because the water's moving everywhere. It's working on him moving down the mound and getting in a good flow with it, with that weight on his shoulders. It's working that counter balance. So you, as you move the water, and, and counter your 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 shoulders, the water shifts, right? So it, it pushes it a little bit further than you normally would, and then it, and then as you move and you, and you rotate down the mound, it shifts against it too, and it makes it a little hard to do it. It makes it makes you feel more more rotation. I actually use it with with some of my pitchers, guys that have problems like getting that shoulders or their trunk to really open up, their backs a little tight and stuff. So it's really good to open your back up for counter rotation. I, I will say this. I don't like the other side of it, the, the front rotation part of it. Mm -hmm. I think it, it focuses too much on rotating your shoulders, which um, I believe and, and some studies believe and definitely top velocity side, we believe it puts a lot too much stress on your shoulders. Too much stress on your elbow if you're not if you're not throwing correctly if you don't have really strong arms really strong tendons and ligaments in those in those pieces but for paul Skeens, without a doubt it works and it's really interesting that he's done it and brought it to a forefront this is something that's kind of been behind the scenes for mm -hmm. a while for a long time and i kind of experienced this too with when i with the with the braves i was doing some of my top velocity stuff and they actually came out and filmed it once they saw me doing it and they filmed it without me necessarily knowing it and they played that during the game. And it was kind of cool that th that kind of brought some prominence on another side of training that, that people don't normally see. So is it sort of like a swing trainer in golf where it's controlling your tempo? Is that what it is? Is it trying to, you know, because you said the, the water is basically moving, shifting from side to side. Is that so that when it gets to the other side, you, you need to stop harder? What, what, you know, what is it doing for you? Think about... From a golf standpoint, if you had to, if you were having trouble actually getting higher in the backswing, mm -hmm. okay, or, or um, not backswing, but your front, right, right. So as you're pulling, yeah, backswing. As you're pulling it back, you're having a hard time really opening up your back. This would help you open it up. It, it will tougher to begin with, but once you shift and once you get that weight going and you and the water shifts, it pulls you into a higher position. Okay. So as you're moving down the mound, I'm trying to do this as I'm talking. As you're moving down the mound and you, and you start shifting those shoulders all that water weight shifts and it actually kind of throws that shoulder further back. So as long as you're moving your hips forward and you still, and you drive off that hip, if that you want to, it's called hip to shoulder separation. So you want that shoulder to open up. And so for him, it's a great probably warm up 
piece really warms up his hips, warms up his lower back and gets his shoulders warmed up in that rotation. But then once you fire your shoulders and you start rotating, it's going to make that rotation almost faster and more complete. And so, so it's almost like as if, if you're having trouble to following through, it'd be a bigger follow through. Now it's hard to control, very hard to control, but if you can, it, it's good. And again, I, I don't like the idea of like rotating faster with your shoulders. It can create velocity, but it also creates arm injuries. So one thing that when I saw it, I immediately thought of we've had over the last few years problems with players and their obliques. So when you're rotating that fast, is that going to be a problem for his obliques? It could be, but not as not if you're strong enough, not if you're mo- mobile enough with them. And, and if you're rotating more with the shoulders and not pull. A lot of times when guys have oblique issues, it's when they pull with their mm-hmm. front side hard. And so if you're if you're not doing that separate movement, it shouldn't be a big issue. And, and again, there's some mo- some movements and some deliveries that are prone to being healthy with that movement. And sometimes when you start trying harder, they tend to hurt. You know, they tend to pull in areas. Like for me, I would definitely hurt some things if I was doing that on the secondary rotation side. But I love the start of it, and I have a lot of my guys do it that have trouble opening their shoulders up and just opening up in general. It's a great tool to open up, and it's incredible again for for movement, for balance. And there's so many drills you can do with those things. It's a big bag of water. Try moving around and just moving and, and controlling your body is, is very difficult. You mentioned Top Velocity a couple times. Later on in the show, we'll tell everybody how they can get in touch with Top Velocity. Yes, yes. Reach out to me and uh, maybe get some training or, or talk out. We do online training. We do training, um, distance training. I, I do it over the phone, do it over video. Guys come here all the time. I actually had a guy here last week come out and from Oklahoma, University of Kansas kid, come out to train with me. I had a, I had a kid the week before come out from a California university and train with me. And uh, it's been getting fun, James. It's fun yeah. when guys come out and you, you train them. And then you, you, the hard part is you send them on their way and they got to continue with the training. Yeah, you send them on their way and they walk the ballpark like their teacher did. <laughs> walk the ballpark, James. That hurts. Right. That hurts. Hey, leave me alone. You call me a loser at the beginning of every show. I got to have a little fun with you. I'm supposed to because that's the whole idea. You're a loser. I'm the closer. 